Hi, welcome to the Shiko Mathematics Statistics Problem Solving Sections. So today we're going to take a look at how to find a sufficient statistic for the certain parameters. And uh, today specifically, we're looking for a uniform distribution. And uh, if this uniform distribution is f of x theta is equal to one over theta, and the x is between theta over two and the negative theta over two. So how do we find a sufficient statistic for the parameter theta here? Okay, so let's go ahead and start and uh, let's go to the whiteboard here. Okay, so now, uh, before we solving this problem, and uh, let's just do a very quick review. How do we find the uh, sufficient statistics? So first things here, I like to do is, uh, you know, kind of a review, get a quick review about, uh, we call this the Fisher-Newman factorization series here. So this is the Fisher-Newman and the factorization so basically this theory is the one we're going to use to find the sufficient statistics so the, this theory said if this uh, test statistic t to the sum from tx here you know if this is a sufficient statistic for, you know, the variable for the parameter theta, then we know only and uh, if and only if, then we know the likelihood function So for the likelihood functions for the x and the theta, we can be factored right? So this will be the likelihood function theta. You can separate that. This is the g theta and the t to the x and the times h of x here. So for here, so this you can find the function and this g function is a function of the theta and this test statistics. And then this h of x is just a pure a function of uh, you know the x here. So that's why we can say that this is the criteria we can use to define the, the sufficient statistics. Okay, so now let's take a look at our problems here. Our problems, our problem here is this is f of x theta is equal to the one over theta, and uh, this is a uniform distribution. So the x is from the theta over two to the negative theta over two to theta over two is here. So based on the Fisher-Newman factorization series, so let's first find the likelihood functions here. So the likelihood function will just be the x1 times x2 times xn, right? So it will be theta to the n. So here, and then we know each variable, like we use the identify from, She's here will be negative theta over two and uh, to the x1 and uh, to the theta over two, then times the i, this is the negative theta over two, the x2 times the theta over two, and uh, all the way to the negative theta over two, the xn to the theta over two here. Okay, and uh, so in here we can combine this a little bit so we know that this is the theta to the nth power. So for each random variable x1, x2, x to the xn, they are all between the theta over 2 and the negative theta over 2. So we can change that to here. So we know that now we change it to the order statistics. So this is the theta over 2. So I know that the smallest one has to be greater than the negative set over two, right? So it's the x ones here. Then also the largest order statistic has to be less than, it, right? So I know this is xn should be less than the theta over two here, okay? 
All right, so now let's take a look at here. So I my goal here is to try to create these G functions and then the, the remaining will be my the function of X here. Okay, so this is one over theta N here. Okay, so let's take a look at this one here. Okay, so for X1, so this is the smallest order statistics. This one is greater than negative theta over two. Then I know the negative theta will be less than two times x to the first order of the statistics. So then I take the negative sign both sides. So I will have theta greater than negative two, the first order, All right? All right, so this is the, this one's here. Then the next ones, next ones here will be the xn, the nth order is less than theta over two. So I can get a two over, so I would say theta is greater than two times x to the nth order statistics. Okay, now from here, let's just, uh, you know, if it, uh, we just add them together, if you add it, then what happens here, you got a two theta is going to be greater than two, the uh, x to the older statistic xn minus x1, right? So now I can say the theta is greater than the xn minus x1 here. So now this likelihood function, I can change to one over theta n, and then this one I will say here, this is the i, and uh, this will be the x nth order minus uh, first order is less than theta. Okay, so now in here, take a look. This will be my g theta to the t x here. And then my h of x will just be one, right? Because your times. Uh, your times one, so this will just be my h of x. So by the Fisher-Newman factorization uh, series, so what will be my sufficient statistic? So the sufficient statistics uh, for the theta will just be what? The sufficient statistic for the theta would just be the function of the tx, right? So what is this tx? Would just be the order statistic, the largest order statistic minus the smallest order statistics. And uh, that's it. That is uh, our sufficient statistics from this uh, specific uniform distribution. All right, that's it. And uh, so have a good day and uh, uh, for our next video, we will take a look at more like the sufficient statistics here. All right, have a nice day and I'll talk to you in our next video. Okay, bye.